Welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I do a near daily channel. I'm a Hayoka, wise clown. I'm an empath. Yeah. I just uh, make the uh, most out of the time I have you know, hanging out with mom. She don't like going out on outings much when it's cold outside. And it's been cold, so we're staying close to home and well, I think a lot. I'm one of those. I'm one of those too much types. So I have a lot of energy. So in order to expel, use that energy, I, I study a lot. I, I don't know. I got to think of creative ways of, of how to expel that energy because I get bored with doing the same thing over and over and over. I just think life is too short to just keep doing the same stuff that is just mundane. It's just trite to me. You know, I gotta do... I have to have different scenery. Even though all the places I've been all over the world, my travels, my time in the Air Force and whatnot, it doesn't matter where you go, the train pretty much all look the same. You know, every city has a main street, y'all. So, anyway... I just, things occur to me and I just share them in, in hopes that, you know, other people, I come across their radar and what I share sets something off in them, a train of thought of some sort or, you know, or a, a connection out of relation that you, you maybe thought that too and how weird I've never met somebody else that's thought that. So you were like me and I am like you because we all the same, we are all connected, yeah. And what are you liking with, you know, liking? Trees like, you know, trees, two different varieties will grow together. It's called liking. Luther Burbank is my soul homie. I love nature. I love all things nature. You know, people are nature. People are natural. We're animals, too. And nature is ugly. You ever watch those animal show? Taking down an animal is, you know, for food is it's brutal. You know, and humans, we're gross. We excrete all kinds of gross stuff. This morning, I mean, I'm laughing. There's freaking snot everywhere. There's, you know. We're not, we're, you know, people act like we don't, we aren't disgusting creatures, and we really are. And some, some of us are more disgusting than others because they do stuff that just ain't natural. You know, trying to take the essence of another, it ain't right. It's evil. It's wicked, and it's got to stop. You know, people... <laughs> We give ourselves tells, we tell ourselves what a tell means to us about another person, yeah, based on our experience, you know? Like people named Dorothy. I've never met an evil bitch named Dorothy. A man eating freaking womanizer named Dorothy. Not to say that they haven't exist, but for me, and the way I set myself up, and my tellings, my synchronicities, my map legend of my spirit, I ain't ever met one. So whenever I meet a Nor Dorothy, I know that, you know, for the most part, I'm probably going to be alright with ex engaging with them. For a long time, <laughs> people keep coming up with these new words. I've been watching Splitting Up Together, and there's like all these, and I've been watching One Day at a Time, and like all these kids are, you know, trying not to offend each other so they're using all these extra words like it's just like adding Q to LGBTQ we're all the same thing stop doing that S stop creating more barriers and just we're all people okay it's only how you vibe right so I was thinking about it you know and when people say to me oh you keep track and what occurred to me it's okay to keep track because how else are you going to know if the relationship that you're having with somebody is balanced, you know? I feel like people aren't, you know, it's funny. I, wa I saw a, a, one of those polls on MSN and like 81% or something thought that, thinks that, uh, a, that Valentine's Day or 71%. That's still freaking high. Valentine's Day is overrated. Because it is. Because people don't act like they love each other. Because it's all about money. And, you know, we're only together because you're pretty. and You know. But but the world, this whole world is being cleansed. Because 
all imbalances is equality. Balance is equality. So if everybody's not being treated equal on the planet, it's not just. Like the scales, like the Libra. Things have to be justice. The justice has to be for everyone in order for the balance. And a lot of us haven't been keeping track. That's why the greedy people got out of hand. Because they were trusted to take care of the infrastructure. And they were trusted to do a lot of things. And while other people were living their lives just trying to live paycheck to paycheck, you had this whole group of quiet entity called government that just grew bigger than itself. And now it just freaking shits on itself and wastes on itself and freaking, you know, just makes, embarrasses us as a nation. With its, if if the spirit of America is a person, if it really was Uncle Sam, he's freaking got dementia, he's freaking incontinent, he's popping Viagra, kind of trying to keep it alive, you know, he's freaking dousing whiskey with wet brain, you know, he's fucked up, dude. Maybe it's time for that old way of thing to go on hospice, and we'll just start one with uh, a less gender specific. You know, we'll just stick with the eagle, you know. The eagle. Let's just stick with the eagle. No man allowed. A being that just nature, a being the icon and the feminine are coming back around to create the balance. Because they're not, us ladies, you know, we're not, we're chiming in more, you know. We're chiming in more. The creator, really? Men can create better than women, right? They're the one that have been given the power for years and years and thousands of years because you took it. You big fucking bullies. Well, guess what? The women, we're taking it back. Yeah, we're taking it back. And it feels good. It feels good. You go out and people just want to be nice, you know? I go to the same places where I know that they're going to be nice. What did I just do there? Flush. I always thought I was going to go show that there's a guy, you know? wanted to learn how to tie a bow tie so I thought I'd take it down today and teach him so it's really easy you know I remember I always knew I was born an old man because I liked stuff that evidently old men liked you know I liked fishing and just spending time thinking about stuff while I fish mostly you know trying and uh I, always, I just always loved bow ties. I love bow ties. Just loved them. If I didn't want to wear those fake ones. Those fake ones are for people that didn't know how to tie and I love knots. So I just learned a couple, well, I guess it's been about 10 years now. But um, I, it just goes back to how things are becoming more old timey and more authentic, you know? People are living true to themselves because of the way that they've lived for a long time. They tried. I tried to live how people told me to live for a long time. I fit in. I can fit in anywhere. You know, I can get along with anyone. <laughs> for a little while. But when the balance becomes imbalance, and I'm like doing all the work, because I will put in great efforts for people I care about, I will go to the ends of the earth. The earth ain't flat. <laughs> I will go to the end of the earth for the people that I love. Yeah, I will go through extremes. It's because it's all about the ask. It's all about the ask. And so, when people don't want to meet me there with that level of care, and I've been fortunate enough to know people have. It was funny. I remember there's uh, with the astrology that's coming around, you think about where you were when, when things are coming back around. Famous people have the same astrology as us. So I was like thinking about this girl I used to know. Because uh, Elton John just came through Omaha, and last time he was through, I saw him because she took me, and it was it was a good time. You know, she she was very generous with me, and, and we grew apart. You know, maybe we'll grow back together. Maybe there's a timeline that we'll still be friends. Who knows? But the fact is, <clears throat> when the imbalance, when things get too heavy for one person, it ain't fair. So now's the time that the whole world is cleansing itself. Everything is cleansing. Everything, people are cleansing. So because people are cleansing, entities, businesses are cleansing. All the shit, the nasty stuff is being sought out and purged out. The 
freaking grossness, the perverts, the controllers, the seedy, the 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 victims, the you know manipulators, the uh, all that low vibrational shit. It's freaking. It's being raised past that, so all those people can come into goodness, kindness, generosity, all those higher vibrational and God willing. Love one day. Yeah. Love for self. Love for you. Love for me. That's how the world's going to get better. Then go inside. I saw a freaking story today. There's a freaking dentist, dude. Dentists are paying too much. If they can buy arsenals. It must have been like 27 freaking... Freaking machine guns they found in this guy who wouldn't let his girlfriend out. He had a freaking whole arsenal, you know, and... When there's one, there's a thousand more. I know there's people with freaking huge ass arsenals, and it's these people, you know, unless we everybody gets rid of all their guns, which I would love to see a planet where there is no arsenal killing machines on it. I pictured it, whether it happens or not. <laughs> the outcome is not up to me. All I could do is picture it, but you know, all these, it's their dissidents inside. Yeah, because when they get re when they get stressed out, are they gonna just start freaking ah, to get that vibration? You know, think about it physically. Think a gunner like you know a gunner. It's that vibration. I mean, it literally <laughs> puts you in a and you you put yourself in certain vibrations. You don't care if you're freaking killing people. You don't. You know, you're just. <laughs> That's why I get tattoos. It puts me in a vibration and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> so it puts me in a, a zen state. So does meditation. You know, people need to try harder. It's their own personal responsibility to learn how to calm themselves. <laughs> it's the only thing that's only going to cure the disease of the world, the dis-ease of the planet. I hope you all have a rad day. Peace.